How has your sales strategy changed with the big government budget cutbacks? Well, the strategy needs to change to recognize the shrinking defense budget uh, across, across not only in the United States, but pretty much around the world. Uh, Northrop has taken uh, aggressive action to manage its programs to make sure that we're on cost and on schedule so we don't uh, become a uh, drag on the defense budget, if you will. So what we're doing is not only looking at the right resources for the, on the right jobs, but also do we have to move resources around to optimize, if you will, the work on certain contracts. How are military sales now? Sales are relatively flat based upon last year's expenditures and with the uh, reduced uh, defense budgets in the future we'll probably have to make adjustments to make sure that uh, we have the right resources working on the right products for our customers. You know we are making adjustments now to recognize the available funding that's uh, available to us on the current programs. Where globally is most new demand? Well, I think the product we have, the Global Hawk, is a unique product, which is, uh, is recognized by other countries that would like to, like to have an opportunity to own and operate a Global Hawk. And uh, this, this, that piece itself is, a, is an opportunity for us going forward. Asia is a big part of that market, and uh, obviously you're, we're here in Germany, uh, one of the ways we expanded the business here is we uh, teamed with EADS on the Eurohawk program. So that was a growth opportunity for us there uh, associated with new business opportunities. Will your mix of military and civilian products uh, change much with the new budget cutbacks? Well, the, the company is, uh, you know, obviously in a lot of uh, technologies and a lot of products, not only electronics, radars, but other components and then also the platforms like the Global Hawk uh, behind us here. So the company is changing in the sense of where the customer wants us to meet the requirements and how we refocus the resources to accommodate him and perform on our contract obligations. The largest part of our business is obviously the platform, the larger platform business, but we do have uh, efforts in electronics, small electronics. We are a big radar developer also, so there's a lot of, uh, a lot of synergy there between the electronics piece and the platform piece. What new projects do you have in the pipeline now? There's several development things going on in the background that uh, you know are based, going to be based on whether we go forward with or not, based on how the budget comes out. Uh, some of these products uh, are uh, very uh, desirable by not only the U.S. government but other countries. A couple coming months when they make the budget decisions, that's when we'll make our final strategic decisions on where we put the right resources. How do you see the market for military aircraft and naval vessels in the future? Is your business any riskier now? Well, I wouldn't say riskier. I think it's, uh, it's challenged in the sense of where do we focus these skills and resources to capture new business. Like I mentioned earlier, Asia is a big marketplace. Uh, a lot of companies are focusing their efforts and resources there. And I think in the, in the next two years, that'll be a big area for all of industry to recognize some opportunities. How is your partnership with EADS? Uh, it's been very well. It's been going on since uh, we started the program in 2002. We received the contract in 2007. Uh, the airplane behind us, uh, the actual airplane that ref is reflected behind us, flew 24 hours from Edwards Air Force Base, landed uh, two feet off the center line and four, four minutes off schedule when it flew over here a year ago. So it's a, it's a tremendous capability. Do you see a big difference in uh, management styles between Europe and the U.S.? Somewhat. I mean, we have established this GMBH and uh, we rotate positions, CEOs and COO positions every four years. So the integrated piece of that is the management team is integrated. Uh, we have uh, seconded employees in the GMBH, just like EADS does, and they work side by side as we go through the process of meeting the MOD requirements. Are you staying up to date on new methods and trends in sustainability? Well, yes. I mean, obviously, I think the key to that is perform on our existing contracts. If you can do that, then you're certainly uh, within high regard to obtain other follow-on contracts. And then the sustainment piece itself is the logistics tail that feeds the system once they're deployed. And that's a big part of the future business. Mr. Nat Piscatelli of Northrop Grumman, we thank you very much for joining NC at Knowledge. Thank you. Okay.